Thank you. Uh, we had a uh, probably our best overall effort on Saturday. You guys uh, did a good job at both ends of the floor. Thought we did some nice things in transition uh, and playing without uh, without Dion for the first time this year. Uh, thought we got uh, very good play out of AJ at the at the point. He really did a nice job of, of making plays and uh, he and Mark have have done a done a really good job with the leadership of our team and, and uh, good to see that again on Saturday. Uh, offensively, our pace was better. Uh, we were moving. Uh, our screening was better. Uh, movement was better uh, with players. Uh, the ball was moving better. So I, I uh, liked what, uh, what we got done on Saturday. Uh, getting ready now for Northern Colorado, <clears throat> a team that we've played, uh, played in the past. Uh, good basketball team, very well coached. They've got uh, a lot of guys back from, uh, from a year ago. And uh, their guard play is good. They got guys that can make shots, guys that make good decisions. Uh, inside, the uh, guys that are very mobile, a couple guys that shoot it, a uh, couple guys that are good around the basket. And, uh, so another challenge coming up on Wednesday. With that, I would take any questions. What is <clears throat> uh, we expect to have him in practice today for the first time. Uh, so we'll see how he, uh, how he moves around today at practice. Day to day would be the best way I could describe it, but this uh, we should have him in practice today. He said uh, this morning that he that he felt good, uh, so we'll uh, we'll see how he does at practice today. Is it anything that will linger? Hard to say. Uh, you know, different than a uh, than an ankle sprain where you know what you're dealing with and you just kind of fight the pain until it gets better. It's uh, a, l a little bit touchier in that uh, if you. If you rush it or you come back too soon and you start pounding on it again, then it could be another week to 10 days if that pain comes back. So uh, we're trying to be real careful with it being early in the season uh, and just trying to get it to the point where it goes away and it stays away. Would it have been easier to ease him back into things the way the other guys in the backcourt played the other night? Oh, uh, it'll, uh, it'll be more based on how he's feeling, on how his health is. If his foot is fine, then uh, we're going to get him going and get him playing again. Obviously, uh, as I mentioned, uh, AJ played very well, and uh, uh, and I thought you know, I thought all of our guards did. I thought Matt Morrison played well coming in off the bench. Uh, Mark and Matt Bohannon were good. So um, yeah, nice to see uh, a number of different guys playing well. But uh, we need Dion to be healthy and uh, healthy uh, as soon as possible. <clears throat> what do you credit the, the low turnover number to? Just six turnovers in the game and. Uh, I, I would say two things. We uh, one, uh, Milwaukee is not a team that uh, was pressing. Uh, you know, you think about the games we just came out of, uh, and where we did turn the ball over too many times. And, you know, after, after playing Louisville and Dion had, I think, seven turnovers, and, and our team had twenty or a couple more than that. Was kind of curious to see what would happen when they played Missouri, uh, you know, with Pressy being a uh, an All-American type of guy, and, and Pressy had eight turnovers, and Missouri turned it over a lot. So I, I think a, a little bit of that coming out of that weekend, we turned it over more than we should have. Uh, that was an area that we needed to play better in, and then we had a week of practice to work not only on our ball handling and, and some of the decisions, uh, but also to work on our offense. And we had better, as I said, we had better movement, we had better pace, and that's a result of having a week of practice. So I. I think the combination of those two things, you know, Milwaukee's a good defensive team, but they don't extend and, and press, uh, have the personnel that a team like Louisville has where they're going to get you to turn it over a few more times. <clears throat> Just want to ask you a comment on number 15, the aggressiveness on the part of the Colorado Warriors. Do you think it's possible to rebound that number 15? Sometimes I'm ordering on money, but do you think that's possible? You know, he, uh, uh, he plays really hard. He's off to a good start this year. He, he's a guy that didn't play a lot for Milwaukee last year. Um, and, and I think when he played last year, he played more at the power forward position. And this year, they've moved him down to the small forward position where that size can really be an advantage. And uh, he's averaging, I think, over three offensive rebounds a game. Um, and, you know, in, in our game, that came late. There was a couple on the free throw line where he went and got a couple. And that's, that's a lot of effort on his part and uh, good plays on his part. Uh, but he, he's going to he's gonna cause some people some real headaches with his size and, and how hard he plays uh, and how he rebounds the basketball. 
Anybody else? Thank you.